Uh, hello, how's it going? It's Fake Oak. I'm at you once again with another Legends of Runeter video. Uh, discard aggro, 16 and 3, 84% win rate. I'm going to give you a deck guide going through a deck and talking about the cards that we have. Uh, this list might be a bit different to some of the ones that you mostly see. I will say the reason why I picked up discard aggro was to effectively start to punish the Ioneer and Demacia, uh, Fiora and Shen decks, which rose in popularity for a moment, so that's why I decided to pick it up again. Uh, this deck does struggle against like Shadow Isles and free old uh, ramp decks, but unironically, I was able to pick up wins against them. I actually haven't dropped a game to those decks yet with a bit of high rolling. Uh, in this list in particular, we are going to be running Crowd Favorite. Uh, your early game board will get checked eventually, but not before your Crowd Favorite comes down on curve sometimes, which can help to punish and push, push lots more damage. I'm outside of that, just one Mystic Shot uh, is a much more of a board centric based deck. Mystic Shot is like one of the more cuttable cards in this list, unironically, although it can be used for reach over the top. But if you just kind of, instead of going for the reach over the top, turn that into more of an early game, uh, you're going to have a really good time. Uh, two Brothers Bond as well to go along uh, with the early game package. So the rest of the deck will be three Augmented Experimenter, uh, three Jinx. You've probably seen this many, many times before. We've got most of the staples here. Vision, Sump Dredger, Get Excited, Draven, Our Spider, Zornight, Rummage, Jurek, and Astru Astute Academic. Astute Academic does prove to be really effective in this deck and can sometimes pull out cheeky amounts of damage with all the card draw that you have throughout the early game. You can sometimes play this on turn one into a Rummage on turn two alongside Jury Rig against the ramping decks and really push a lot of damage. Let's break down the mulligan for this one. So like, mulligan's not always that simple, but you're pretty safe to keep Draven most of the time, unless the rest of your hand looks really bad. Mostly like if you've got like crowd favorite, augmented and Jinx and Draven. Uh, if it's a hand that expensive, you probably have to just kick the Draven as well. Uh, depending on what turn you're going. I mean, if you're attacking on odds, it might be okay to keep Draven then, but you definitely get rid of the rest. Um, but if you're on evens, you could probably get, get rid of the Draven too. You really want to kind of like power out the early game by getting some somewhat of a discard synergistic few turns. Uh, you can never go wrong with keeping Asterisk Academic and like Zornight Urchin. Jury Rig is actually a cut, like sorry, it's actually a card that you'll consider throwing back into your deck unless you have some powerful uh, discard synergy throughout the early game, which would be like Rummage or Jury Rig, even Draven alongside the same hand. Um, I don't think you often will ever keep Mystic Shot, although it is a one-off, so you might consider keeping it against the Bilgewater Burn if you face them, but you have a pretty good time against them generally. Um, you can keep Jinx if the rest of your hand looks relatively cheap, and you think you'll be able to flip Jinx quite quickly, uh, especially if you're going evens. If you're on evens, it's more of an uh, opportunity to keep it. I personally, though, have not ever kept it. Just from experience, it hasn't really been the best card to keep. Because you do kind of want to find the rest of that early game and have really powerful, you know, a few turns with Flame Chompers, Drew Rigs, even Brothers Bond here and there. So to sum it all up, I would say just look for the Zornite Urchin and the One Drops. Uh, keep the Draven most of the time. And oftentimes, that's probably going to be just enough to get you through the games that you need. So I'm going to drop only a couple of tips for this deck because it's, it's really intricate and it just takes a lot of practice to master it. So some of the most basic tips I can offer to new players picking up this deck is that um, oftentimes you you can sometimes feel okay playing this similar to Nightfall, I guess if you're quite familiar with that deck, where you don't have to go all in immediately. You choose, you pick and choose the right time to kind of play your cards. Like sometimes you might just skip the turn one play if you think you can get more of a power turn later alongside Draven. Like you probably find yourself in certain situations where you have like a, a Zornite Urchin, Brothers Bond, Draven and House Spider in your hand. You might not play the Zornite immediately because, you know, you're pretty much discarding good cards in your hand and you don't really want to discard house spider because you want to play at turn two and also in saying that um keeping house spider on evens is a pretty decent uh, all-around card for the mulligan i didn't mention that but yeah definitely pick and choose your right times to go in and if you see an opportunity to flip jinx versus not flipping jinx um from what i've seen like if you have an opportunity to flip jinx you can just go all in on it i think you're usually fine just to go all in on it there might be rare case scenarios where going all in to flip jinx might not be the best decision but in general you should be safe just look at the look at the hand state and just consider also a easy one that uh, might be overlooked but even i do it sometimes is that if you ever have double augmented experimenter in your hand and you have like discard cards discard it it's it's never going to be a reason for it to be two of in your hand there's only run one weird situation where you're versing a deck that plays deny and you think they might deny it, then having two is fine, so don't discard it. But generally, if you ever have two augmenteds in your hand, this is going to be one of your go-to discard targets, okay?
Lastly, I would just like to add, I am streaming over on Twitch quite regularly now. Uh, we are starting our stream at 2.30 p.m. AEDT time zone. Please come jump in. There's been a lot of people popping in lately. I just want to say thank you to all the support you guys have been giving. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Let's go over a few games here. Just going to rip them from my stream. Uh, probably some of the more high-level gameplay that can teach you the fundamentals. And hopefully you can start to see it all play out. Take it to your own games. Good luck reaching Masters. Only one mystic shot, yes. Only one mystic at the moment. Oh, is this, um... Yes, Fiora Shin. Let's clap. Let's clap this deck. I could push two damage or offer the trade. I think you always push two. Yes, I made it back just in time. Oh, we got a we got a power turn. That's a power play. Watch this. Time for the main event. By my honor, you must die. Oh no, it's a ward. Right, single combat exists. Maybe it's not so much of a power play as I originally may have thought. I think we wait till next turn to go all in. Axis, coming right up. <coughs> you hoping they'll die of boredom? Yeah, we definitely go wait till next turn to go all in. Actually, I can like clear it, right? I can also do this, honestly. That's a lot of damage. I have no time for fools. Yeah, you can't let that damage go through. Single combat. I can't really outplay that, can I? So I just allow this to happen. Almost made a misplay. Um, I think our turn turned out okay. We cleared the um, Fiora. That's what's most important. That one card can win the game for him. Yeah, we just got Wow, this hand is nuts. Yeah, pretty nuts hand, guys. So, we definitely flip. We definitely want to flip. So we always develop this turn. He gets a chance to develop, but we do have like quick attack plus all this. It's fun. Discard, Fang, you know it. Let's go ahead and rummage you. Get that rocket launcher. 
I'll figure out if the open attack here might be better though. Yeah, open attack here looks much better. That's a lot of damage. Oh, hang on. Was the open attack not better? Probably wasn't. That's okay. I think it turned out okay. We get to play a rocket here. That's really powerful. Faint picked up the scent. He sure did. So he's definitely going to swing. He might have deny mana up. So what I can do here is I can ping the Shen. I can attempt to play this and if he plays deny, at least I get to clear this. I think we always go for this, right? Because if he needs to have deny, otherwise he loses. He has to pretty much deny this, and if he denies this, I get to keep my hand, so that's fine. GG. No deny. Not with some of these misplays I was making. Oh, here we go, guys. This is the dream matchup. They're going to remove all of our stuff. So he's attacking first. Probably keep the house spider. In SEA server, it takes a little more than a minute to find a match. Now with DCs happening in some cases. Feels awkward, man. Well, I see the line. Hope that's all right. I think I see the line. I could go f pretty crazy right now and buff this. This is probably just fine though. Have you tried Jinx Bilgewater aggro after Taskmaster buff? I have not. No Vile Feast from our opponent or Unspeakable Horror. Feels cool, man. I'll tell you what, our next turn does look kind of pog. Mm, but Withering Whale is a card that exists, isn't it? Withering Whale is a card that exists. You just don't really play around it. In this matchup, you don't really play around it. I think you just lose too hard if you do. So what I do is I play Zornite here and I get rid of, get excited, I'm pretty sure. I'm about to pog out next turn. <laughs> he has it. He has it. Even worse, he has Avalanche. But I'm playing around Withering Whale at this point. Actually, he might not have either. What's the record today? Um, I haven't been keeping track properly today. I've been playing a bunch of different decks. Block, block. Yeah, we just go in. He blocks what he can. I've got some pretty good refill.
he, did, he didn't have it. He did have the Vile Feast though. So what doesn't he have at the moment? He doesn't have Withering Whale. We know that for sure. These War Mother decks give you nightmares. They're pretty effective at the moment. Not gonna lie. Yeah, he has no avalanche. Developing doesn't achieve that much. Honestly, this attack's pretty good. Like if I develop, what do I really achieve? He gets to develop another unit. So it's a 100% open attack here. There's the withering from the top. Withering from the top, possibly no Vile Feast. He would definitely Vile Feast here if he has it, right? What if I was to play Rummage? And buff up the Astute Academic. Obviously I lose my Jury Rig, but that's fine. It's a reasonable attack. So our opponent definitely has no Vile Feast. May as well play this. Okay. Anything with Trundle gives me night. To me is Resident Sleeper. Yeah, I've never personally played this deck much. I just don't, um, I don't really enjoy it. Aren't we always happy to trade here? Do I ignore the attack? I think I'll throw up this blocker. I've got some refill, so I do need to like, kind of, do something. We can just pass, right? Yep, nice. He keeps playing his removal off the top of the deck. Let's yeah, what's up, Tomfus? This crowd favorite feels kind of, uh, Pepega. Do you think it's worth for me to play crowd favorite for the chance that he hasn't got a development here? I think it might be. I can go Draven 6 attack. I can. I really can. I can also go 5 attack with a wider board if I have to. I think I have to develop the crowd favorite here. He keeps playing the removal off the top, right? Yeah, he keeps top decking removal. So I'm pretty glad I played crowd favorite here. That was um pretty good for us. He goes unspeakable. Pretty good draw, decent discard value. Let's go for that fat refill. We've got some outs here. We've got double get excited.
These are, these are not as fat. Do I just ignore this attack? I think I do, right? Yeah, next the our open attack looks spectacular. So what you do here is you you first of all threaten the lethal and then see how your opponent reacts. He had that withering whale hiding the whole time. You just go for it, right? You just go for it. I think I might actually not want to clear the Trindamir. We just go for it. Oh. Oh, stick it in, dude. Big Pog. I've actually faced a couple of uh, Shadow Wilds and Freehold decks with this list and I've managed to pick up cheeky wins.